Hi guys, before we start, we're going to talk about the rules of naming a variable. So the first rule is that you cannot include a special character in your variable. You cannot include it at all. So all of these cannot be in your variable. Okay, there are more of them, you know, the plus sign, the minus sign, the equal sign, all those cannot be in your variable. With the exception of the underscore and the dollar sign. Those are the only special characters that can be included in your variable. Okay? Um, so this would not be legal. Like if you say, you know, um, at name, that's not a legal name. That's not a legal variable. Okay? Anyways, your variable cannot start with a digit. So seven name like this cannot be legal. It's not a variable. And third grade like this, because it starts with a digit, that's not legal. Okay? You can have numbers or digits in your variable, like this, name 7 or NA3ME, that's fine, but they can't start with digits, okay? Third, your variable cannot include spaces at all, so any space in your variable, that cannot be legal, that's illegal, okay? Your variable cannot be a reserved word in C++, like return, string, int, see out, namespace, true, false, um, all anything that you know that is a reserved word in C++ you cannot use as a variable and there's a lot of those so just you know look it up and and see what they are but don't worry about it they're all you know I don't think you'll think of naming a variable of those reserved words so it's kind of a given but anyways so those are the four rules okay again you can have numbers in them they just can't start with numbers but for the special characters, you cannot have special characters at all in it, in a variable, except for the dollar sign and the um, underscore. Um, you cannot have spaces at all, and it cannot be a reserved word. Okay, let's take that out and start with today's tutorial. Okay, so last time we learned about two data types, integer and double. Today we're going to talk about two other ones, character and string. Starting with the character one, char, char stands for character, and of course the, it's the same way to define or declare a variable, car, and then we write the um, name of the variable, which let's call it letter grade, like that, equals single quote, a close single quote, and semicolon. What you've done is you told the computer to create for you a variable called letter grade, of type character that can only store characters, one little character, okay, in single quotes, and you've given it the value of A, okay? Um, the other type is basically a string, and a string is not really a data type, like a main data type. It is, but it's not a main one. So when you use string, you have to include a library here. It's called the string library. I don't know what else it would be called anymore. It's for string, so include string. So you have to include that whenever you use string, okay? So string, and oh, you have to include it right here, okay? Or here uh, before the, the main function. Anyways, so string, let's call it name. That's the name of the variable um, equals, call it my name without that V. My name is really cool as it is. We don't need a V. Um, okay, so now we have two different variables. One is letter grade, one is name. In this one, you're telling the computer, okay, create a variable um, called name, and the variable shall be of type string, and the value of it should be call it. Okay, so if you wanted to, in, in this one right here, this is a string, and this, like any string, is basically a group of characters. Okay, so you know that's that's just a piece of information I threw out there. I don't even know why, but you don't need to know that. Anyways, um, if we wanted to print out on the screen, like you know what name is, all we got to do is say C out name. Now we don't use the double quotes to print out name. Okay, we we print it like this because we want it to take the value of name and not take name literally and print out name for us, the word name. 
No, we wanted to take the value of it. So the value of this variable is college. So it's going to print out on the screen the word college, right? That's what it's supposed to do at least. See out. Oh, I mean debug. And there you go, call it. So although we didn't tell it to um, see out the actual word call it like this, it still printed out call it because name equals call it. Okay. So that's what we can do with variables, and that's pretty cool. So next time, next video, um, I will talk some more about you know what kind of calculations we can do with variables and that kind of stuff. Okay, see you later. Bye.